Welcome to the show. First up, um, you legitimately have no idea what we are doing today. I have no idea, and I don't know if I like got presents or if oh, um, oh, oh. I'm getting tortured. I, I don't forgot the really blindfold. know what's happening. Hang on, we'll be right back. And we're back. I found it. Did you say this was on your desk? Because it wasn't. On the table. Oh. Here you go. Um, I don't. I like this less now. Oh, don't worry about it. You'll be just fine. So, um, um, Halo. I'm, I'm assuming this. Okay. Yes. Woo! No! Okay, so. No! You're afraid of some things. I'm afraid of some things. We're all afraid of some things. Yeah. Um, me, my thing that I really don't like, birds. Everybody knows that about me. Um, That's a funny one, though. Well, you know, you say that. It's not funny to me. Um, <laughs> so, we're going to talk about fear. Okay. Uh, because it's, it is getting up to spooky season, isn't it? I, know. I love spooky season. We're though. almost to October. Um, everybody has fears. Mm -hmm. Very natural. Everybody's mm -hmm. afraid of something. Because um, you can't see everything coming. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to talk about fear. Um, okay. I want to tell you a story from the Bible before we get started. Okay. Okay, so you know how way, 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 way back when God's people, the Israelites, mm -hmm. uh, they were in Egypt yes. as slaves. Mm -hmm. And then this guy named Moses comes along mm -hmm. and God uses Moses to free his people mm -hmm. with some pretty crazy stuff. He parts the Red Sea, they leave Egypt, and then, like, can you imagine how they must have felt at that point? Because... They had no idea what was about to happen. No. Um, they were led to the land of milk and honey, but there's also all these other people around who were big and strong and scary. Mm -hmm. And so they were very afraid. And so I'm just going to read a scripture out of Numbers. This is Numbers 14, 7 through 9. And it says, um, and this is Joshua and Caleb who have been sent out to go kind of scout out and see what everything looks like. And they're coming back to the Israelites. And they say this. Um, they say to the entire Israelite assembly, the land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord, and do not be afraid of the people of the land, because we will devour them. Their protection is gone, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. It's pretty strong scripture, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Devour, we will devour them. I don't think that they're not talking about Eden when they're talking about their land will become the Israelite land. Yeah. Um, so they focused on God. And mm -hmm. so we're going to do a little activity. I'd like you to blindfold yourself. I would not like to blindfold myself. Um, in each of these boxes are things. That but I, I, I can't see the boxes anymore. That's okay. Okay. I'll, I'll help you out there. Okay. Um, there are things in each of these boxes. You don't know what they are. No. Um, I would like you to reach kind of to your left. That's left, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, that's your first box. Um, I want you to take the lid off of that. Yeah, it's kind of... Really Are we it. sure? Keep going. <laughs> you almost got it. There you go. Okay. All right, I want you to stick your hand in that box. I don't like this. Okay. What did you find? What well, do you think you found? I think I found candy. Okay. You did find candy. You can lift your blindfold up a little bit. You can look and see what kind of candy you got. So Ooh. you had no idea what was going to be in that box. No. That was the unknown. But you did, as I said, you reached in and you got something pleasant, not something scary. Right. Something you get on Halloween, in fact. Yes. Something okay. we need more of donated. Uh, yes, please. Bring us the candy. <laughs> All right. Put that to the side for now. You can eat that in a second. We're going to put our blindfold back on. Okay. So sometimes the unknown is pleasant. If I got the good and, one first, now I'm not comfortable. Well, you shouldn't be. Because um, <laughs> sometimes, uh, the, you know, you step into the unknown and you do get uh, pleasant things, sure. And sometimes mm -hmm. uh, you step into the unknown. I'd like you to open that middle box. There you go. Um, you never know what it could be. Okay, that one opened a lot easier. Uh, yeah. I want you to stick your hand in there. I don't want to stick my hand stick in there. Stick your hand in there. Mm -mm. 
What do you think you found? I don't know. It feels, uh, I don't like it. This is a particular fear of, your, of yours, I can say. <clears throat> uh, hey, be careful. They're alive. No! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Lift up your blindfold. No! Yeah, spider. Hey, hold one up for me. If you, if you uh... care. There you go. There's a bunch of those. If there were live spiders in there, I would be gone. You move the lid a little bit so we can. There you go. Um, yeah. <sighs> no. Mm. So those are creepy crawlies, and those are things that you are very scared of. Don't like and that. You don't like that, and you've just hidden them. Very good. Yes. <laughs> For this next one, you can just take your blindfold all the way off. Okay. And I want you to open your last box. Do I look when I open? Yeah. And I want you to tell me what you find. A clinging cross. A clinging cross. It, uh, do you know what that's for? Um, for prayer. For prayer. Concentration. Concentration. Very good. For focus. Yes. I need that. If you uh, focus on the cross, mm -hmm. the things that you're worried about, the things that you are scared of, uh, because they are not what's at the front of your mind, they get smaller. Yes. Not literally. The spider will not shrink in size. But your fear of it will shrink in size right because you know that um if you have if you focus on god you know that god is always going to be bigger than whatever you are afraid of or as larry the cucumber the says boogeyman. god is bigger than the boogeyman yes and in your case the boogeyman is a handful of spiders at this moment yes yes uh this is psalm 23 4 and it says even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me. God is always with you. And mm -hmm. the world can be scary. And you can absolutely be uh, legitimately afraid of, of certain things. Even if they're weird things like me. Like birds. Um, yeah. Your fear is verified. But if you focus on the cross. If you focus on God. Um, and how big and powerful he is. And how much he loves you. And how that will never ever change. Uh, your fears will be so much easier to manage because you've always got God with you. How about that? It's pretty good. Are you ready to enjoy your candy and throw all of those spiders off of this table? Yeah, I'm going to leave those right there. <laughs> they are not going with me. Thanks for being with us today, Kayla. Thanks for having me. Have a good week. Bye.